Yo, what's going on YouTube, man? It's your boy Gage. Today I'm back with a brand new YouTube video for y'all. And as y'all can tell by the title, I got the Camaro SS 200 miles per hour speedometer cluster installed on my V6 Camaro. So in this video, I'm going to break down the total cost and everything that I had to do to get the speedometer working properly in my V6 Camaro. And if y'all didn't know this, if y'all have the 1LT Camaro, because I know y'all clicked on this video wondering how much it will cost and what it looks like in the V6 Camaro. So... If you have the one LT Camaro, the base model Camaro, cloth seats, 7 inch screen, all that stuff, it's going to cost you over a thousand dollars. That's a lot of money just to put 40 extra miles power on the dash. I ain't gonna lie, man. But if a thousand dollars is worth it for y'all, then hey, who am I to say don't do it? Hey, go out there and do it because I spent $570 just to do it. So I really can't be talking, but 570 compared to a thousand something. I ain't gonna lie, that is kind of a big difference. But luckily for me, I got a fully loaded V6 Camaro 2LT with the 8 inch screen and all that good shit. So I didn't have to pay for nothing else except the speedometer and the uh, programming and when I had to send it off. That's all I had to pay for. But yeah, man, I feel bad for y'all 1LT guys who want to do this because it's gonna cost you a shit ton of money just for 200 miles per hour. I mean, like I said, do it by all means, do it. I'm about to show y'all the papers and break down the total cost of everything because i know y'all are curious of how much it will cost you because y'all probably want to do the same thing because i ain't gonna lie why wouldn't you why wouldn't you want a 200 on the dash the 200 on the dash looks fine in my opinion that's why i did i like the 200 on the dash i don't know it's just something about having 200 on the dash instead of 160. i don't know i just feel basic with 160 because my mom's nissan toyota goddamn got 160. i mean i'm a v6 camaro i'm not fast like i'm not i know i'm not fast like an ss or nothing but I don't know, I just think it's unique and cool to have that in the car for some reason. I don't know, I just like it. So that's why I did it, to be honest. If y'all wonder why I did it, I just like the way the 200 looks. So I'm going to break down the total cost in the order that I bought everything. So obviously, I bought the speedometer first. As y'all see, 6.2 liter V8, clean lens, no burnt pixels, in perfect condition, basically, for $165. All right, keep that in mind. Speedometer, $165. So then I had to take it to my local UPS drop-off to get it shipped off to White Automotive and Media Services to get programmed. As y'all see, it cost me $17 to ship it off. And then when it got to White Automotive and Media Services to get programmed, the programming cost me $240. So you got $165 right here, $17 plus $240. All right. So then the last thing was the install. I know a lot of y'all might hit on me for not installing it myself, but I do not trust myself installing those speedometers because of all the components you gotta take out and put back in and the glass on it. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I just don't trust myself. I'm clumsy and all that shit. But anyways, as y'all see, 3.6 liter 2017 Camaro RS instrument cluster cost me a total of $150. So he installed it for $150. Pay 165 for it, 17 for the ship off, and 240 for the programming, in which that comes out to a total of $570. So that's how much it cost me to do everything. $570. So this is what it looks like while I'm driving. Obviously, it's gonna look the same, but as y'all see, it's programmed correctly. No issues. I'm saying we got no issues. I can flip through all the pages. All the pages work perfectly fine and everything. So yeah, no issues and I already had it done for two weeks. In my opinion, I think the 200 looks a lot better than the 160. What y'all think? That 200 does look sick, so I can't even lie to y'all, man. Look at it. But yeah, man, as y'all see, it works perfectly fine. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll catch y'all next time.